Alright, back into week five. Lockdown rock. And brushing my teeth. Welcome to Sunday guys. Pretty happy with what I've just done. Just filmed like several videos, um, including the apology video, the apology for the year of the apple, because uh, everyone hated it, and very important video, the Pestival, Pestival revival. So I've got sugar cookie Pez. Um, so I filmed both the review for that. Brilliant, dropping all the Pez. I filmed the review for that. Look at all the pears, wow, dropping again. And I also filmed the sort of reintroduction video of Pez, the pe of Pezdival, uh, which is gonna cameo lots of people, some food review people, some fans, and uh, should, be, should be a fair bit of fun to pull together. So uh, yeah, what's my plan now? I think I'm gonna play a bit of video games. I spent all I've spent all morning doing video stuff, so um, it's like about one. Is it about one o'clock now? I think. Yeah, it's twelve fifty. So yeah, I think I'm gonna play video games for a little bit, and um, yeah, then we'll see where the day takes us. Uh, we're watching Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh. Listen. Yeah. 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 Excuse me. This weekend, I've put a little bit more of my Lego model. The um, bookstore. Yeah, it's very nice, very, very nice, very, quite different. I like the um, decoration on this, and it's one of the ones where you get two halves, and you can arrange them however you want, because the pegs, so that's cool. Uh, so I've just started the second building, which I think is a, it's, it's a, I think it's primarily a hairdresser, oh, brilliant, pointing it off camera. I think it's primarily a hairdresser's, um, from what I recall. So yeah. Monday, good thing that's butter vision because that's my work. So yeah, it's Monday. Just started the working day. Um, should be a reasonable week, like I say. Oh, I think I mentioned last time maybe. I've got a few things to get on with. So it's better to, better to keep busy. Goes quicker when you're busier, innit? Um, so yeah, got quite a few things to get on with. So that's, that's good, I'm pretty happy about that. Try and smash through this. Um, plans for the week. I've started playing Steam World Dig 2. I should really show you a little bit of it actually. Because over the weekend, I think mostly over the weekend, I might have started it last week, I uh, played SteamWorld Dig, and it was really good. Sort of like a Metroidvania game, <clears throat> first one's quite short, I read online that the, the first one's good, or very good, um, but short, and that the second expands on it all so much that if you play the, if you don't play the first first, you're just basically missing out. Um, so I played the first, there's also a really nice story beat at the end of the first that is then directly picked up on and... and features into the gameplay of the second so um and also really enjoyed the first but the second feels like such a a good step up that it makes it even more enjoying so it's really good like it's like a digging excavation metroidvania game so like a map and you go back and forth because you unlock different abilities which lets you progress further it's one of my favorite types of genre uh, types of genres of game actually so yeah i'm enjoying that i'm going to play that um, tomorrow, the Middle Ditch and Schwartz um, comedy specials are released on Netflix, so we'll definitely watch one or two of them. On Dungeon on on Wednesday, I've got Dungeons and Dragons, so we'll be playing that. And then uh, Friday, we might be doing another quiz. Actually, we did a quiz last week, um, and then the the weekend ha happens. Meh. Uh, in between all of this, I'm going to try and fit in a little bit of time on a new game I've been playing, Parkitect which is literally like a like a new version of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, it's based on a grid system, you build a theme park. So I'll show you some of that, I'll play some of it later. So yeah, I will uh, I will show you that, uh, show you my park that I've done so far. I mean my first park is bad. I'm working through the campaigns first and then I'll try and focus on something really deep, like a decent park. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, that Lego, I'll show you the Lego. I'll show you how far I'm getting with that. Basically, there's loads of stuff that I want to get on with, but eh, oh, we have to work so that we can afford life. That's to get annoyed. pathetic, which anyway, I better get back to. Just finished work, logging off for the day, and uh, just starting dinner. Uh, it's going to be a nice dinner today. It's going to be chicken kebabs, so I'm literally going to start cooking them right now. pan is smoking, actually. It's probably marginally too hot, if anything, but just makes tasty chicken. Watch this go. 
This will be quicker if I put the camera down, to be honest. But, um, yeah. I'm not, so. Doesn't matter about the different sizes here, because I'm going to thinly chop them up anyway once they're cooked. Which will make them very pleasing to eat. This is just a simple marinade of oil, um, many spices including sumac, paprika, uh, mixed spice, um, what else is in here? Oh, I need to go in order really. Um, I can't really remember what else is in there. Onion, garlic, salt. Mmm, smells amazing. Right, I'll get the rest of this on and then I'll catch up with you in a minute. That is more than one. Nice, 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 nice. Right, so chicken's done. Just lightly grilling the flatbreads. Here's the chicken. We've also got cheese, lettuce and uh, coleslaw. I'm going to very finely slice the chicken now. So the flatbre flatbreads are grilled on one side so it leaves the other side soft. So that gives you a hard shell to put the toppings on. Uh, this is what I mean by finely cutting the chicken. So it makes it nice and easy and just uh, not a mess to eat. So here we go, assembly time. This is the assembled article. Are you excited for this, Claire? I think so. Yeah? <laughs> nice, yeah. Um, coleslaw, cheese, lettuce, mayo and chicken. So we fold it over and then let's get into it. He was all into it. He was and, and I was going to say, Robbie, what about you? I mean, how is the cutting up happening for you? This is I SGN, John Krasinski's <laughs> Some Good News Show. Yes. Really, really good show. That is amazing. Y'all should be watching um, it in these well, here's the deal. terrible I, I times. End, but I, I actually have it's one 420 one today, Claire. To smoke by. weed it's every day. Really to me, what? as an artist, it's 420 smoke weed every day. It's weed day, isn't it? Drugs and that. Show I did called La so it's a good eating week this week in terms of nice food. Probably bad for the diet. Um, but yeah, last night we had those kebabs. They were really nice. They were really tasty. I think that was one of the last things, things that I filmed. Um, again, it's a video I should have shown you, but uh, my mind doesn't think. Um, I had a breakfast sandwich this morning, so egg. Actually, oh, Claire's is still... Claire's is still knocking about. I had bacon uh, and egg and Claire. Claire's got sausage. Look at that, see? So like a sort of like a sausage sandwich, I suppose you'd call that one. Should be a good day today though. Um just started work again, got a reasonable amount to get on with today, so should be smooth sailing and should go quite quickly. Um and then tonight, Middle Diction Schwartz specials are out on Netflix and the Better Call Saul season finale. I think it's a season finale, is up today. Um if it's not the season finale, then just the next episode. Um and was there something else? Can't remember. Um, but then tomorrow I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons, so that'll be good. And I'm definitely gonna have a cocktail tomorrow. I think I'm gonna try doing a cherry colada. So a pina colada with a bit of cherry flavoring in. So we'll see about that. Uh, anyway, that's tomorrow. Gotta get through today first. I, I don't think I'm gonna get time to, but I'd really like to get in a bit of time on my game park attack. I show you. Oh, another thing that's good actually is that I did the festival video. I did this yesterday. Um, I was very happy with it. It was so inspirational. Banter. 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 So as you can see, like quite impressive visuals on some of these bits. This is quite a nice shot. And then some clips from the old Pesdoral. Yeah, good. Good. Very happy with that. So that's good. I can upload that soon. Well, the plan is actually. Here we go, I'll show you. Um, currently sitting at Monday 29th. Um, later on I'll try and at least edit that. I need to try and get a few videos edited. May I might do that one because I'm eager to do this cocktails one. Um, but we'll see. So dinner today is orange chicken. 
clothes are any good? Yeah, nice. Nice, interesting. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, really nice. What have you put on it to give it a bit of a kick? Make my tongue... Needs a bit more sauce. And the chicken's probably a bit too brown, but it's nice. It's got chilli flakes on it. Oh. Chilli. So earlier today I went round Gossie's. Uh, I didn't go round Gossie's. I went round to Gossie's house because he lives very near me. He lives literally a like a three minute walk away from me. Um, dropped off an ice lolly on his on his stoop. Stoop kids afraid to leave his stoop. Um, dropped off an ice lolly on his stoop. Uh, had a chat with him for like five minutes. Um, I was about what five meters away from him probably. So more than the distance required. Um, probably too far if anything um because we plan to do a zoom food review tonight so we just just filmed the zoom food review uh oh god fair to say it was fucking disastrous um ice lolly gossy's freezer was accidentally turned off nate dropped out for almost all of the first portion of the video oh it was a disaster uh very funny though i think it will create a very funny video um so yeah we will see. Anyway, um, I'm going to go through the toilet, clean up. I need to reply to an email quickly. Uh, Channel 5, actually. Hopefully um, hopefully going to be on an, an upcoming uh, McDonald's documentary thing. They've asked to use seven videos, so it's, it's really, really cool. Uh, I'm chuffed about it. They're all, they're all McFlurry videos, though, so who knows? They might just, um, they might just choose one um, to, 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 to do, to feature. But we'll see. Um... Yeah, and then I've got a few things I want to watch. I'll probably watch Better Call Saul whilst Claire's getting ready for bed. And then when Claire is downstairs, we're going to watch Middle Ditch and Schwartz, one of the uh, improvised comedy specials on Netflix. So, it should be a good evening. Just wanted to catch up. It's Wednesday now, today. Air is looking still quite long. Beard looking quite full. I shaved this bit here, just so that it's not poking in my mouth. Um, Bad news today, expected news, but maybe not to this degree. Uh, Portland's Park have delayed the opening of Tornado Springs. So Tornado Springs is their brand new um, world with brand new roller coaster, incredible looking roller coaster. And after much begging with them, basically I managed to get two spots to their media launch event. So that was going to take place uh, mid-May. So obviously that's not happening now. Um, I, you know, I assumed that that would be um, cancelled. So that's fine. Um, but it's actually been delayed till Easter 2021. So it's been delayed a whole year, which which is surprising. Um, obviously, I appreciate the you know the window that they can open is much smaller but yeah surprising that they're delaying it a whole year when they probably only lost a couple of months so they probably could have opened it in well we don't know how much they've lost to be fair do we i guess they've lost loads more than that i'm just being stupid now but yeah quite surprising that they've delayed it a whole year just another awful thing really but fine was vaguely on the cards, so cool. Uh, Venom 2 has been delayed as well. That was coming out the weekend that we got to Florida, so we were going to watch that at Disney Springs, so obviously that won't happen now. Fine. Um, yeah, it, it's it's all really, really good. It's all really good. Um, what did we have for dinner last night? Yeah, orange chicken. That was pretty successful, to be fair. Um, again, though, as with so many of these... Chinese recipes that I find online there's just no sauce like the, the, the sauce evaporates away and is enough to coat the chicken with none left over and I, I don't get that if you're having it with rice you want loads of sauce so maybe I should have realized it wasn't going to create much sauce uh, and done like a double batch or something but I think that's what I'd do next time uh, it was a really nice recipe I'd definitely do it again the um, the thing that I'd probably change next time is uh, I'd either use store-bought battered chicken or just use non-bad chicken because just use grilled chicken because um, it's a bit easier to control the cooking perfectly on grilled chicken and um, it's it makes it nicer to do the battered chicken and that was really good battered chicken but um, yeah it'd probably still be really nice with just grilled chicken making sure it's perfectly cooked and loads more sauce so yeah I'd probably do it again
so I'm on my lunch break now, just got back from a run, um, I sort of wanted to do 5k, and I did, look at that hair, um, I did run out quite far, I ran out very far actually, um, I ran out as far as I do on my 5k route, but couldn't do it, abandoned it, so I did 2 miles in the end, which is 2 thirds of a 5k, um, annoying, but these things happen, I don't know, I guess the overall back of my ankle rubbed a bit as well, um, which never happens because I'm very careful, but that is, you know, first for everything. Um, yeah, but uh, these things happen. I think the overall worsening fitness from generally being cooped in all the time uh, maybe isn't helping. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, most people could achieve 5k quite easily. Not for me. Anyway, I'm going to have lunch now. So guys, I've finished work. That can, that I can get sucked off for the... For the day, uh, I've just been working on the, um, well not the, but some, some bits for the Patreon relaunch of Food Review UK. Um, so we've got the, I think I'm going to call them silver, gold and diamond tiers. And uh, if you pause the screen you can have a preview of what content to expect. Um, one of the things is going to be the Frock Show Extra, so I need to do a new um, sort of thumbnail thing there. Um, another thing we're doing, let me show you, in shows, frock and wrapped, TV dinners, uh, is a new podcast called TV Dinners, um, so there's some little previews of some of the stuff, so we're just pulling together all the assets and whatnot, and then we can launch it, so it'll probably launch in a couple of weeks, something like that, somewhere in that region, anyway, dinner time now, it's in the oven, let's go eat it. Here is our extraordinarily healthy meal. So it's like, uh, well, actually this doesn't look too bad here, but underneath here is like um, chicken strips, new bistro, like chicken strips from Aldi, and uh, I've got a bit of cheese, and then obviously ash browns and chips and toffee sauce. So, yeah, come at me, bro. So here we go, I made some cocktails. There's a cherry colada, first sip. <laughs> yeah that's good <laughs> that's really good and this is a cherry old fashioned this is much stronger so I can't down this but very nice and complex probably my favourite old fashioned I've made so far I'm slowly getting into old fashioned Zzz. old fashions uh, anyway back to Dungeons and Dragons let's go bell sniffs Get this shit done, son. Um, I'm going to target the one that's in front of me. Fucking wolf prick. Now, one in front and one behind, won't it? So yeah, I'm I'm listening to what the DMs say, mate. Do you need to, I don't know what do you... <laughs> for the for the video, Stuart's just called me a cunt. And quite rightly I'd say. <laughs> Didn't want them. Human, mate. Been there, done that, got got one that's fucking tiny. Uh right, let's fucking go for some great act action. <clears throat> there it is. Oh, look at the shadow definition on them. Uh here we go. Oh, 17 plus 5, 22. Hits for a D12 plus 3. Oh, 9, so 12. Um, I'm going for a very clean um, wolf uh, axe through the mouth. So I'm taking off the lower jaw. I guess I'm taking off the upper jaw from the rest of the uh, wolf body. Yeah. Through the mouth, yeah, that's it. I rolled this roll twice this attack, this attack period. Nat 20, double damage, 12 plus 3, 15, 30 damage. The, there we go. So yeah, I was just waiting for my computer to load up then. And then it did. Um, it's Thursday. 
uh, just started work. I am quite tired. Uh, we did D and D last night, as you saw. I on that final battle. So just to explain that dice roll thing, on that final battle, uh, you roll a D twenty um, to attack. You you add that to your attack, whatever that may be, because you may have different modifiers. You roll a D twenty. Um, now, if you roll a twenty on a D twenty, that is uh, called a natural critical hit. A nat twenty, natural twenty. Uh, that's a critical hit. That means whatever damage you do, you do double. You do double damage. Um, and then on the particular weapon I was using, a great axe, I roll one d12, and it does that much damage. Now, in the final battle, when we were fighting five orcs, I was incapacitated for a, a large portion of the battle because I was hurt. Um, and yeah, twice, twice. I got a natural 20, so a critical hit, and then rolled maximum on damage, 12, on a d12. So I did 30 damage twice, and these things have got like 15 health or something, like, yeah, basically overkilled two orcs. Mental. Um, yeah, bananas, absolutely bananas, so, yeah, cool, uh, good. Today, I'm gonna have chicken tikka masala for dinner, that'll be really nice. I'm actually going to have pancakes for breakfast when Claire is up and um, probably watch Middle Ditch and Schwartz tonight because we watched the first one it was very funny. Um, don't know what else really. Well, that leaves no time for anything else, so cool. This is my pancakes. This top one looks a little bit weird in colour because I put cinnamon and vanilla powder in it. Um, and you can see the shimmer of the maple syrup. And I'm going to eat it. Just doing one last piece of work before I have lunch. Prepped this earlier. Uh, we're having chicken tikka masala for dinner. So this is Misty Ricardo's book. Uh, he actually sent this to me because um, I did a collaboration with him. Which was really, really cool. Really uh, awesome collaboration. He basically wrote me a curry. Um, which was a pistachio... Um, Pisander basically, so Pisander. Um, and look at this acknowledgements. Probably shown this before, 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 twat. Um, Michael Jameson, Food Review UK, see that? Yeah, boy, nice. Um, so yeah, anyway, doing that later with our oh, good butter vision or ghee vision. Get that ghee vision because, uh, on that, on that, on that ghee hype, innit? So, nice. Um, there's the chicken tikka defrosting and base gravy, which will not be defrosted by later, so I'll need to warm it up. But that's all good. There's, um, good. There's <laughs> things, things. Okay, good. Um, fine. Anyway, like I say, I'm going to go to the toilet and then I'm just going to finish one last work thing before I have lunch. Okay, today's curry experience is very organised. As you can see, I've pretty much cleaned up most things. This is an interesting game. I've not, not done exactly this before. I'm going to do like the proper Indian restaurant style pilau rice with just some gentle sort of pilau spicing in there. Um, all of my ingredients are over here. It's getting a bit hot. Take that off because Whenever I put garlic and ginger in, it spits up like an absolute bastard. So um, I'm just going to take off the heat for a bit. Uh, anyway, I'm going to make it now. I'm not going to film myself cooking it because it's a hectic process. But please enjoy. Hopefully I remember to take a video of the actual dish. So yeah, it looks nice, etc, etc. I cannot cook rice. I always fuck up the rice. Like, I just can't do it. Like, this time I followed the recipe to a T to a T with measurements and timers and I still fucked up so I don't know man anyway it's gonna be nice so fine oh god that was a very long edit uh, it's I don't know what time it is now it's well anyway let me tell you about this video I just edited the dip dab review which was the zoom food review with the fruck buddies uh, it was a fucking disaster um, but it's all the funnier for it. Um, and what time is it? How long did that take? 
it's 746 that must have taken me a good hour and a half maybe more um, so yeah I, I am gonna have a break now I'm gonna watch some probably gonna watch some YouTube videos I might play a little bit of video game sort of tempted to do a bit of Lego um, but then I think we'll watch Middle Diction Schwartz might see if last week tonight is on I don't know if that was on this week Brrr. so it's Friday it's actually it's actually like 11 is it I don't actually know what time it is what time is it it's half 10 I was roughly right butter vision oh that's literally what I was gonna say you literally can't see me at all um I literally haven't filmed a single second of footage today and I've probably got to edit this tomorrow morning so this is toward this is this is tail end of the vlog this is towards the end of the vlog I didn't vlog a single second today so far which is kind of weird um had work fine then we got Domino's bad it was yeah it's not a great order from old dummies um and then we've watched Middle Ditch and Schwartz so we've done all three episodes now very good very good um, that's it, that's it, yeah, there's nothing to report today. That's the end of this video, bye.